so we have seen the process of fertilization and we have seen how the sex determination takes place okay now the next step the zygote is ready now this zygote you can understand one single celled zygote okay just one cell from that an entire baby has to be formed okay nature has provided around 9 months of time so in these 9 months the zygote which has been developed in the fallopian tube now it has to develop into a full baby and that is called as the period of pregnancy right pregnancy is also known as gestation period that word you have to remember okay pregnancy is also known as the gestation period gestation means pregnancy and remember this word it's called gestation period okay that is the pregnancy okay so the site of pregnancy comes in first we will talk about all the normal situations then any kind of abnormality and all we will discuss after this okay so under normal situation from the fallopian tube that zygote will slowly like you don't have to learn the details of the embryonic development but in brief you should be aware that that uh, zygote which is now produced in the fallopian tube slowly it will start rolling down towards the uterus because uterus is the site or the mother's womb where the pregnancy has to take place correct so in the uterus this zygote will reach and jaise jaise it will start coming down it is also starting to divide see the zygote is just one cell from that one celled zygote when it has to form a fully formed human baby so the first requirement is there has to be a good number of cells which will form the embryo so increase in the number of cells is possible only when the cells will divide so the first process that takes place is something called cleavage okay zygote will undergo something called cleavage cleavage is simply nothing but the cell division one cell zygote will divide one ka 2 two ka 4 four ka 8 eight ka 16 like that there will be many stages simple mitotic division now there is no meiosis involved because the diploid zygote has to remain diploid now okay so cleavage will give rise to many cells and at the end of the cleavage at one stage there will be a embryonic stage reached which is called as the morula morula stage of the embryo is around 16 to 32 cells okay morula stage is around 16 to 32 cells that stage is called morula this is only by division okay morula will further divide after 32 we cannot count the number of cells okay why it is called morula it has come from the word mulberry mulberry plant on the mulberry plant this uh, butterflies and silkworms they lay their eggs on the leaves so when they lay their eggs on the leaves they are somewhere in 16 to 32 number and they look exactly like that when it is seen under the microscope इसलिए उसको नाम दे दिया मोरुला ओके सो आफ्टर द मोरुला स्टेज आफ्टर थर्टी टू ऑनवर्ड्स इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू काउंट द नंबर ऑफ सेल्स सो इट इज सिंपली कन्वर्टेड इन टू अटेज विच इज कॉल्ड द्लास्टूला ओके तो एक एक करके वो ब्लास्टूला स्टेज में कन्वर्ट हो जाएगा नाउ दिस ब्लास्टूला स्टेज दिस इज द एम्बरिक स्टेज आई एम टेलिंग यू ओके formation of the blastula during embryonic development is a process which is called blastulation this process ko bolte hain blastulation okay this blastula is similar to that of the graafian follicle that we had discussed it had got one main cell in the center followed by a empty space called antrum okay and there is a covering around the blastula which is called as a trophoblast okay 
तो ब्लास्ट चला यू डोंट नीड टू गो इन टू दो डिटेल्स एंड सच बट इतना समझ लो इट इज अ मास ऑफ सेल्स वेर देर इज नो फर्दर डिफरेंसिएशन एंड सच अब ये जो ब्लास्टूला है विच हैज रीच द यूटरस इट कैन नॉट रिमेन फ्लोटिंग अराउंड इन द यूटरस अल्टीमेटली द बेबी शुड बी अटैच टू द मदर इन साइड बिकॉज मदर कैन नॉट कीप सिटिंग एट वन प्लेस फॉर नाइन मंथस ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी you know very well during pregnancy the woman has to move around sometimes they go for work also traveling sab hote hain so inside the uterus the embryo cannot just remain suspended like that it has to be attached to the mother so this blastula will attach to the wall of the uterus that is the endometrium when we were discussing about menstrual cycle you remember endometrium ka wall aise thick ho gaya tha dikha so here at this stage when the blastula is reaching because of the progesterone secreted by the corpus luteum the endometrium remains thick and cushioning that is receiving the baby so that process in which the blastula or this stage of the embryo attaches to the wall of the uterus usko bolte hain implantation that process is known as implantation where the blastula attaches to the wall of the uterus and implants itself so now there is a proper physical connection of the developing embryo with the mother so implantation mein kya ho gaya blood vessels ka connection ban gaya whatever the mother will eat those nutrients will go to the embryo from the body of that embryo whatever waste matter is produced they will go out into the mother's cells from where the mother's body will excrete it out so like that there is a connection oxygen given to the fetus carbon dioxide collected from the fetus many things will happen so because of the implantation now the embryo is more secure okay so implantation done so maybe like as from the fertilization onwards approximately in the first month ओके इन द फर्स्ट वन टू वन एंड हाफ मंथ्स में इम्प्लांटेशन हो जाते हैं वन मंथ में एंड देन आफ्टर इम्प्लांटेशन बिकॉज इट हैज गॉट अ फिजिकल कनेक्शन विद द मदर नाउ द एम्ब्रियो ग्रोज फास्टर तो जो एम्ब्रियो का डेवलपमेंट चल रहा था नाउ इट हैज स्टार्टेड डेवलपिंग इन टू समथिंग कॉल्ड फिटस एफ ओ ई टी यू एस फिटस अब क्या जरूरत है किसी ब्लास्टुलेशन में इट्स अ मास ऑफ सेल्स जस्ट अ मास ऑफ सेल्स तो द रिक्वायरमेंट इज नाउ द सेल्स मस्ट डिफरेंशिएट तो व्हाट हैपेंस इज उन सेल्स का एक प्लानिंग बना देते इट्स लाइक सपोज इफ यू वांट इफ यू आर एन इंजीनियर एंड इफ यू वांट टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ बिल्डिंग तो ईट मिट्टी पत्थर लाके शुरू हो जाओगे ऐसी बनाने को If you are constructing an apartment, a society, four floors, ka, can you just construct it randomly without any planning? Of course not. Correct. Right? Like, हम लोग सब societies में रहते हैं तो you know very well कि if I have a living room, so all the flats above and below me they have living rooms one below the other. वरना क्या हो जाता है किसी का kitchen, किसी का bathroom, किसी का living room. So that is not a planning. Similar thing happens here also. If from this mass of cells, the raw material is ready. Now the whole entire baby has to be developed. So, first requirement is planning. The blueprint has to be created. So, for that, the cells are divided into three layers. Those three layers into which the cells are divided, उनको बोलते हैं germ layers. They are known as the germ layers so and uh, germ layers we'll come across this word called triploblastic when we discuss about animal kingdom we have three germ layers which are produced during embryonic development okay they are endoderm ectoderm mesoderm each one of them containing few cells aise karke teen germ layers bana lete hain so formation of these three germ layers giving rise to a final structure okay 
उसको बोलते हैं गैस्ट्रोला फुल्ली डिफरेंशिएटेड एम्ब्रियो हैविंग ऑल दिस थ्री जर्म लेयर्स प्रेजेंट इन इट उसको बोलते हैं गैस्ट्रोला एंड फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द गैस्ट्रोला इज अ प्रोसेस कॉल्ड गैस्ट्रोलेशन तो गैस्ट्रोलेशन जब होगा इसके बाद थ्री जर्म लेयर्स आर रेडी ईच ऑफ द थ्री जर्म लेयर्स विल बी डिसाइडेड यू विल गिव राइज टू विच पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी जैसे एक्ट्रोडम से एक्टो मीन्स आउटसाइड तो लेयर्स ऑफ द स्किन द हेयर फॉलिकल्स ऑल दिस विल बी डेवलप्ड मीसोडम में से मिडिल रीजन द मसल्स द ब्लड वेसल्स एंड ऑल विल बी डेवलप्ड एंडोडम मीन्स इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स तो हार्ट लंग्स लिवर किडनी एवरीथिंग विल बी डेवलप्ड तो ऐसे करके ऑल द बॉडी पार्ट्स द ड्यूटीज आर डिवाइडेड बिटवीन दीज थ्री जर्मस की दीज लेयर्स विल गिव राइज टू दीज बॉडी पार्ट्स Is that clear? Okay, so it's called fate of the three germ layers. Mostly. So during the remaining months of pregnancy, the germ layers are dividing and differentiating and giving rise to each of those body parts. At the end of which, the whole baby is ready. That is called as the pregnancy or gestation. And at the same time, the baby which is developing, the fetus which is developing, is establishing a connection with the mother's body. जिसको हम लोग बोलते हैं प्लेसेंटा इट इज द प्लेसेंटा थ्रू विच द बेबी इज कनेक्टेड टू द मदर सी दिस एंटायर पीरियड ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी इज डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री ट्राइमेस्टर्स द फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर द सेकंड ट्राइमेस्टर एंड द थर्ड ट्राइमेस्टर फर्स्ट थ्री मंथ्स सेकंड थ्री मंथ्स एंड द थर्ड थ्री मंथ्स तो इनिशियल स्टेजेस में इट इज जस्ट वन सेल टू सेल यू कैन सी नंबर ऑफ सेल्स कैसे बढ़ रहे देखो ये देखो ये ब्लास्टोसिस्ट द ब्लास्टोला विच आर सेड फिर देखो कैसे एम्ब्रियोनिक डेवलपमेंट हो रहा है ओके सो यू कैन सी थर्ड मंथ द सेकेंड मंथ फोर्थ मंथ फिफ्थ मंथ हाउ द बेबी इज डेवलपिंग टैनी टैनी हैंड्स टैनी आईज सो यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड कि ड्यूरिंग सर्टन मंथ्स ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी द बेबी स्टार्ट किकिंग अंदर से वो पुश आते हैं ना You must have heard is from pregnant woman. That the baby has started kicking. Three days move me. Dikha. Okay, all is well. Bolne pe kick marte. Right. So that kicking and all indicates what nervous system has developed. Okay, hands and legs started moving. Nervous system has developed. But the tiny heart has started beating. And at that same time, you can see this cord-like structure. You see, the baby ke abdomen se connected. we call it the umbilical cord which is developed from the placenta okay and inside the mother's womb in this uterus it is very necessary that the baby is always in an inverted position this also you must be aware that the baby is always developed in an inverted position ki head niche and this white color thing is the umbilical cord which arises from the placenta which connects the baby with the mother okay and the abdomen during as and when the pregnancy proceeds you know very well that baby is growing inside the fetus is growing inside that's why the wall of the abdomen is pushed ahead so you can visibly understand that the lady in the front is a pregnant woman there is a projection in the lower abdomen okay तो जैसे जैसे प्रेगनेंसी प्रोसीड होगा स्पेशली इन द थर्ड ट्राइमेस्टर रेगुलर चेकअप्स एंड ऑल हैज टू बी डन डॉक्टर सोनोग्राफी वगैरह करते हैं तो पता चलता है बेबी का हेल्थ वगैरह बराबर है कि नहीं बट एट द सेम टाइम इट इज इलीगल इवन इफ द डॉक्टर कम्स टू नो द सेक्स ऑफ द बेबी इट इज नॉट टू बी डाइवर्स टू द पेरेंट्स बिकॉज यू नो वेरी वेल लॉट ऑफ इन्फेंटी साइड हैज बिन टेकिंग प्लेस लाइक दे डोंट वॉन्ट अ गर्ल चाइल्ड सो दे आर केयर्ड illegal it is done according to the government rules also after the fourth month of pregnancy abortion cannot be allowed it is fixed okay the sex of the child is already determined and after the fourth month it is not allowed abortion ke liye legal term hai mtp medical termination of pregnancy okay so that is allowed only up to the first second third month because in various cases it happens that the pregnancy becomes a by chance process 
the parents are not ready to have the child due to various reasons economically financially health reason age factor so many factors are there so under such conditions they have an option to terminate the pregnancy but only up to a certain stage after 3 to 4 months this termination is not allowed okay so the baby grows like this and towards the end of the pregnancy the mother has to take more care like there should not be any jerk or something especially traveling in the international yes, roads of our country you know very well right so all that should be avoided okay and uh, any kind of uh, what you can say jumping action or something of course nobody does that right but regular checkup is a must whatever the doctors or professionals tell that has to be followed okay and the other thing um, there are symptoms during pregnancy that happen like menstrual cycle will stop okay and there can be bouts of vomiting in between okay so all that is completely normal okay because the fetus the developing fetus produces a hormone called hcg you can just remember the short form hcg human chorionic gonadotropin that hormone secreted by the fetus this will stimulate the medulla oblongata in the brain of the mother and in that medulla oblongata there is a vomiting center so fetal hormone is stimulating the vomiting center in the brain of the mother that's why there is vomiting so that is completely normal okay like that the pregnancy proceeds okay there will be like as and when the baby develops there will be like back pains and all because the mother is carrying a weight in the abdomen and at one point of time okay the baby has to come out that's a process called parturition or child delivery this word i had mentioned earlier okay that's called parturition okay so during this parturition the fetus has to come out so when the uh, lady actually carries out proper checkups and all towards the end the doctor gives them something called due date due date ka matlab hai the doctor gives a probability that so and so date ke aas pass the child delivery can happen usko due date bolte hain okay so around that time the mother has to be very careful the rest other rest of the family members have to ensure that the mother is taken care of okay and all the other practical consideration ki agar fetus ka aana shuru ho gaya child delivery begins so home to approach how to travel is all ready okay that will be the process of child delivery pregnancy wala part samjha everyone and how the embryo develops okay so now yes. let the baby be born right that is parturition so kya hoga parturition mein it is of course not a sudden process correct it takes place sequentially slowly so the main thing that happens is that the parturition is a process where the mother experiences pain and usko hum log bolte labor pains you have heard about this labor pains bolte okay so it's like it is the uterus where the baby is fully formed and parturition has to take place through the vagina so from the uterus from the base of the uterus you can see this diagram the baby has to push down through the cervix through the vagina and out of the body so vagina and the cervix are normally very distended ones and very narrow diameter but during child delivery that vagina can expand it can go up to 25 to 30 cm in diameter because the whole baby has to come out that's why it is very painful it is uh, heard somewhere that the normal process of child delivery is painful and the pain can be compared to like 20 bones of the body being crushed together utna pain hota hai karke okay but this is something every mammal has to experience okay so it's like see the stages of parturition first stage is called dilation 
ओके एंड अनदर थिंग आई फॉरगॉट कि यूटेरस के अंदर व्हेन द फीटस इज डेवलपिंग द फीटस इज प्रेजेंट इनसाइड अ सैक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर अ फ्लूइड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर उसको बोलते हैं एम्नियोटिक फ्लूइड सो द बेबी इज सस्पेंडेड इन दैट फ्लूइड तो फ्लूइड के वजह से न्यूट्रिशन भी हो रहा है लुब्रिकेशन भी हो रहा है एंड इट्स लाइक अ मैकेनिकल शॉक एब्जॉर्बर so during the first stage that is dilation that amniotic sac containing the amniotic fluid that breaks and that liquid amniotic fluid comes out of the cervix and the vagina so the first thing that indicates that parturition has started is that there is secretion of amniotic fluid from the vagina and the baby is in an inverted position so it is following the newton's third law of motion okay wo kya karega apne pairo se lat marega piche okay so because of that action there is a reaction from the uterus okay there is a hormone also involved over here which is called the oxytocin okay oxytocin hormone uh what it uh, produces it is produced from the pituitary gland that hormone stimulates the walls of the uterus the muscles in the wall of the uterus to contract so when the wall of the uterus contracts the contractions are muscular movements in a downward direction it's like the muscles are pushing the baby out That's why in that three years movie you must have heard push Mona push. I say, बोलते हैं ना? That is this one. Contracting pains in a downward direction. उसको labour pains बोलते हैं. So slowly, the baby will start coming out, and it is the head of the baby which comes out first. And that is completely natural. वैसे ही होना चाहिए. Because first the head will be out. Slowly, slowly the shoulders will be out. so when the head with the shoulders are out it's like the this is the region of the body having the maximum diameter so wo pehle bahar aa gaya that means vagina has expanded to the maximum so rest of the body can come out easy okay so when the head with the shoulder is out the doctor or the nurse whoever is handling this delivery can also catch hold of the baby through the shoulders and pull it out that's the second stage the actual birth it can go uh, from a few minutes to a few hours also depends upon the mother depends upon the baby there are various ways okay and the third stage is after the actual baby is out the baby is connected to the mother by umbilical cord that also has to be cut so the rest of the things like umbilical cord the placenta all this also exits through the vagina उसको बोलते हैं आफ्टर बर्थ डिलीवरी आफ्टर दैट द डॉक्टर्स विल रिपेयर द सूचर्स एंड ऑल एंड एंश्योर दैट द मदर इज कम एंड देन द बेबी व्हिच इज बोर्न अ न्यूली बोर्न वन दैट इज वॉश्ड क्लीन ड्राइड पैक्ड एंड गिवन टू द मदर ओके एंड द न्यू बेबी इज रेडी ओके तो अम्बिलिकल कॉर्ड को कट करना जरूरी है and ha very important thing as as and when the baby is born what is the first thing that the doctors do with the baby jaise hi paida hota hai the baby is crying or not ha ah. and they make the baby cry kaise jaise hi paida hote hain ulta latkate hain marte hain yes or no paida hua nahi ki mar pada and that is necessary why because of the slight zor se nahi marte aisa patak kar ke just a gentle pat because of that the baby will cry and when the baby will cry its mouth and the respiratory passages will open so it will start breathing normally ho zaruri hai so the baby cries everybody else is happy and every the baby born is normal see this correct a new born baby ओके okay. तो उसको अच्छे से क्लीन करके रैप करके मदर के पास दे दिया जाता है ओके सो दो द पार्चुरेशन इज अ वेरी पेनफुल प्रोसेस 
but the pain is completely forgotten by the mother as soon as she takes a look at the baby and holds the baby that's how beautiful nature is at least for human beings we can say we have proper hospitalization there are professionals doctors available to do all this so mother is taken care of imagine what other mammals do in the wild animals like deer giraffe leopards and all they don't have any maternity hospital or something ki pregnant achhi to wahan admit ho gaye they don't have any nurse to take care of the mother and the child right hum log arrange karte hai kisi ko some aya or a lady who comes home takes care of the mother and the child for a few days right and as soon as this parturition is over okay then the brain of the mother produces the hormone oxytocin again and it will stimulate the mammary glands okay that the baby needs nutrition and the mammary glands start producing the milk for the baby paida hoti usko pizza to nahi khilayenge right so it feeds on the mother's milk and that is what develops the immunity because the baby is very gentle and very delicate ekdam newborn baby ka skin dekho kaisa hota have you seen light pinkish and when it cries you can see the color of the skin on the face hai na ekdam aisa blood vessels se burst ho raha hai jaisa so the baby is very susceptible and it is sometimes uh, in the hospital itself as a care it is taken care that the baby is wrapped in a cloth properly एंड उसको हल्के से डिफ्यूज सनलाइट में रखा जाता है नियर द विंडो और सम बिकॉज डिफ्यूज सनलाइट मीन्स द बेबीज बॉडी विल प्रोड्यूस विटामिन डी तो बोन्स थोड़ा स्ट्रॉन्ग अ फुल्ली फॉर्म्ड हेल्दी बेबी हैज अराउंड थ्री हंड्रेड बोन्स इन द बॉडी तो उसको स्ट्रॉन्ग करना है ओके सो यू कैन सी द बेबी इट्स रैप नाइसली इन अ क्लॉथ और अपने हाथ पैर चलाते रहते हैं अमी बाकी तरह लगते हैं right producing pseudopodia and all so the baby has to be taken care of properly proper oiling taking care of hygienic aspects and all then the further growth happens normally understood this yes okay achhi tarah samjha any doubts here let us take a look at something called twins twins kaise bante now till now what we saw was a normal baby one baby normally in human beings at a time there is one child which is born but sometimes there are twins also produced so twins kaise hote hain see two types of twins are there ek hota hai identical ya monozygotic twins dusra hota hai fraternal ya dizygotic twins okay see monozygotic ka matlab kya hai ki normally there is one sperm one egg one fertilization one zygote जाइगोड बन गया बट दैट जाइगोड स्प्लिट अप इंटू टू जाइगोड्स टू डिफरेंट जाइगोड्स एंड देन बोथ दाइगोड्स डेवलप एज टू डिफरेंट फीट बट दे शेयर द सेम प्लासेंटा एंड बोथ ऑफ देम आर प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम द सेम जाइगोड दैट्स वाई उनको आइडेंटिकल ट्विंस बोलते हैं दे हैव द सेम न्यूक्लियस they had the same genes that's why in case of identical or monozygotic twins both of them are exactly the same and both of them has to be males or both of them has to be females they cannot be of opposite genders unko bolte identical or monozygotic okay the other type is fraternal or dizygotic ओके तो फ्रैटर्नल या डाइजाइगोटिक मतलब क्या सी ओवरी इज प्रोड्यूसिंग द ओवम एंड देर आर इन लॉट ऑफ स्पर्म्स विच आर रेडी तो स्पर्म्स का तो कमी नहीं है कभी ऐसा हो गया कि दोनों ओवरी साइमल्टेनियसली ने एक एक ओवम को रिलीज किया सो इन बोथ द फेलोपियन ट्यूब्स एट द सेम टाइम देर इज वन वम ओवम प्रेजेंट रैंडमली simultaneously two zygotes are produced two independent fertilization two different placenta it's like two pregnancies happening at the same time aise jo twins hote hain unko bolte hain fraternal or dizygotic 
in such cases they can be of opposite genders because independent development right? so either they can be both males or both females or one male and one female but identically a monozygotic may as animal now sometimes there are more than two child children produced triplets quadruplets as we cases you know so usme kya hoga it might be two fraternal twins one of them giving rise to monozygotic simultaneously that's why it's a rare occurrence ya dono monozygotic ban gaye wo bhi ho sakta quadruplets okay but normally it is only one child at a time okay then there is one more type have you heard about this aisa kuch suna hai cases yes yes where there are twins which are produced but they are joined to each other and by any part of the body it can be like by the neck or the head or the chest or the waist as it twins ko bolte hain siamese twins okay so it's like they are monozygotic twins but their separation had not happened completely due to various reasons so kahin na kahin wo connected rahega and waise hi develop hoga so aise jo born hote hain unko siamese twins bolte hain so most of the time they cannot survive much but sometimes they live like that for the entire life agar surgery karke separate karne gaye to it becomes difficult for them to survive one of them may die according to the situation doctor check up karke bolte hai ki agar iska surgery kare to ek jayega ek bachega then they have to take a decision whether they want to continue living like that or you can separate and make one live a normal life as in unfortunate cases bhi hote hain right so then they are called as cms twin so scientifically we know this fact ki ye nothing but embryonic development ke time pe disorder ho gaya they did not separate properly so people uh, abhi bhi aisa hota hai villages mein agar is tarah ke bachche ho jate hain na ya sometimes people have an extra finger ya aisa kuch abnormal type so they believe they start commenting like this ya is tarah ke superstition phaila dete hain ki isne zarur koi pichle janm ka paap kiya rahega isliye aisa paida hua ya something like that this has got no scientific basis it is only improper embryonic development okay understood about cm students properly any doubt okay so we have discussed about zygote and embryonic development during the entire period of pregnancy okay followed by we have seen at the end of the pregnancy how the parturition takes place okay and after parturition what are the care to be taken and how twins are produced all these points we have discussed any doubt in this everything no. clear okay